it's almost time. You know, Jeff was saying the other day how he thought being undercover was so exciting. <laughs> he has no idea. Yeah, no, it's a lot of waiting around. Then a short bit of humiliation <laughs> or pain. I went and spent six hours in a ball gown and five inch heels flirting with the suspect. Ugh, only to find out he had me made in the first hour. Oh, man. Did not help that he looked like my brother. Oh, gross. Ooh, I got that beat. On my very first undercover operation, my partner had to take a leave of absence, so they paired me up with this rent goon who insisted the only way I wouldn't blow my cover would be to get a tattoo. Shut up. Show me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Must be a rite of passage. <laughs> a couple of chumps. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> I'm sorry that I got you mixed up. Oh, you could have known. It's just blind luck that we happen to have ops that crossed over. It could still end up being okay in the end. Uh, who's Marianne Dixon? Well, I guess you could say she's Larry's soulmate, but the two of them never seem to get it together. Whenever one is single, the other one's in a relationship. Why? Larry's a good guy, right? Oh, yeah. He's the best. I mean, he's a goof, but his heart's always in the right place. I was thinking there might be something I can do, you know, to thank him for helping me out. Okay for using him. Mm. Well, that'd be really nice. What'd you have in mind? I have an idea. Ooh, things should be heating up. So, your name's not really Natasha. No, it is Mary Jane. I go by MJ. And you're not a model. No, I'm a U.S. Marshal. We had no idea about each other, I promise. Oh, really? You didn't uh, talk it over over the water cooler over at uh, uh, Undercover Central? Hey, are you working these two schlubs? Yeah, me too. That's great. Let's go get some mimosas. Should we walk or drive? Let's drive. So you, no, it's a sunny day. Let's walk you, a little you bit. You guys run different, like, what, what, what do you call them? Ops. Operations. Operations. Different operations. Yes. And, and we are in the middle of each of your operations. I mean, wh what are the freaking chances of that? Yeah, what <laughs> I mean, are the chances? So Let me get this straight. The Canadian mob just wants to kill us because they think that we've been using their wives to get information about them. But the Russian mafia, oh, oh they just want to kill me because they think I know too much about the packages I've been delivering to them. When really, you've been using me as a patsy so you can reel in a bigger fish. Is that about right? Yes. yes. But we have a plan, guys. We do. Larry, I need you to deliver one last package uh, to a man that believes it is the last piece of some highly volatile hardware. Huh. Huh. Volatile? Volatile. Did she just say volatile to me? She said um, highly volatile. <laughs> You've actually been delivering potentially explosive material uh, up to this point you've been very safe uh, so we just need this last piece which they believe is all they need to make everything work oh completely safe huh. mostly <laughs> well look at it this way where you're in one piece you know you're okay so that's success good job Jeff Jeff <clears throat> Jeff I need you to focus I'm um, I'm focused okay we're going to have you meet a Mark at the same time, and you need to reassure him that nothing nefarious is going on. Nothing, nothing nefarious. How, how am I supposed to do that? Just be yourself, Jeff. Okay, so you're going to have a box with a muffin in it, and it's very important that he takes the box because there's going to be a tracker underneath the muffin. Why would he want a muffin? He, he likes muffins, trust me. So, um, 
Muffin Tracker Fox. Once we're done with this, this is it. It's over, right? We're done. Almost. Almost? So close. Oh my god. Finish line. To die, huh? I'll go with Larry. I'm gonna go check on Larry. Jeff, why didn't you insist on him taking the box? Why would, why would he take the box? Because the tracker was under the muffin. No, n n it wasn't. Huh? Yes, it is, Jeff. No, no, it, it wasn't. It, it, it fell off, and I had to think on my feet, and I, I thought, what would, what would, what would Katie do? So I, I put the tracker in the muffin. He ate the tracker? Yeah, he, he ate the tracker. I thought it was a good idea. So. No, 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 this will work. That means that we can track him for another six to eight hours. And, and, and then what? Well, let's just say when it looks like he's swimming the sewage system, we'll know we lost him. But that, that'll be more than enough time. So, we're done. Well, there's one last thing. Clip? Do I look like a clip? That's what the mustache is for. Cliff, from Lubbock, Texas. Yes, Jeff? My name's still Jeff. No, it's different. It's G-E-O-F-F. -F. Look, you guys, I'm really sorry we're putting you into witness protection. I just want to keep you safe. It won't be forever. I promise. <sighs> Not everything holding me here anyway. You look like a cliff. Where are you going? Uh, Topeka, Kansas. Good luck. Going my way, Cliff? Don't look at me. MJ set it up. It's true. She turned out to be pretty cool. Have you ever been to Lubbock? Nope. But there's the first time for everything. Thank you. Just thank you so much. I don't know what else to say. I'll always be your friend. I guess this is it, huh? Yeah. Promise me you'll watch out for Grace? Of course I will. Hey, you'll see her before her next birthday, I promise. I promise. Um, <sighs> wouldn't happen to have uh, 
bus fare to Topeka, would you? How about I drive you there? No. No, oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Really? Sure. If you can put up with the. <laughs> oh God, you're one of those. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we should hitchhike. I mean, it's up to you, but the opera stands. I feel like I might rather get murdered on the side of the road than drive.